In the previous video, we looked at the first two question levels and how you can use those to build reports in the data slicer. In this video, we're going to look at question levels three and four, and we're going to end up with some pretty complicated condition sets. Those questions again are, which students are enrolled in one course in the fall term or one course in the spring term? Which students are in the undergraduate program and enrolled in one course in the fall term and have an entrance term of either fall or spring? At this point, we're asking a new kind of question. This gets back to that and versus or distinction we covered in the first video. In our level two question, we asked for both conditions to be true of our results. If we look back at those settings, you can see that we used an AND join for that. For this question, we'll reset the table, add our enrollments in the fall term condition the same way we did before, and click the plus sign at the end of that condition to add a new one, we'll need to change that join from AND to OR. Now we'll change the new dropdown to an enrollments in term condition and set that to enrollments in term, spring term is greater than or equal to one. We can click update and the data slicer will return those results. All of these students are enrolled in at least one course in either the fall term or in the spring term. You can see who's showing up in which term by looking at the columns for each term's enrollments. The last step here will be to look at how to use both kinds of conditions the AND condition, as well as the OR condition at the same time. To do this, we're going to use two separate condition sets. We're answering this question, so we'll reset the table real quick. And under the students category, you'll select the program condition. Set that to program is undergraduate any. Then click the plus sign at the end of that condition add our enrollments in the fall term condition the same way we did before is greater than or equal to one. Now instead of clicking the plus sign at the end of that condition, we're going to click the plus sign down in the lower right corner. This creates a new condition set. You'll see that this adds an AND join between the two condition sets, which is what we want there. In our new condition set, we'll first add a condition for entrance term is fall term. Then add a new condition within that set. We'll make sure to set that join between these two conditions to or. Then we'll set that condition to entrance term is spring term. Then we'll click update to get our results. All of these students are in the undergraduate program and enrolled in one course in the fall term and have an entrance term of either fall or spring. Using these types of conditions, you can do quite a lot. Our next video about using the data slicer will cover how to add columns into these reports and we'll do a brief overview of some of the actions you can execute from the data slicer. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you're alerted when the next installment in this series is released. Also, to learn more about using Populi, visit our knowledge base at support.populiweb.com. Thanks for watching.